All right, good morning, guys. Um, <coughs> Saturday morning here. Um, the Daily Crazy House Arena is uh, already underway. Um, I'm just uh, joining at about um, <coughs> 51 minutes left. Um, we've got, <coughs> I think the whole duration of the event is, is 90 minutes, so I'm joining uh, with about 50 minutes to go. Um, so hoping to get some, some good instructive crazy house in here. Um, yeah, let's, let's have some matches. So I'm here against uh, Pancho Pistolas. He's played an early bishop f7 sack in the e4, e5 opening. And I've, I've put on the berserk. Uh, option, which means I get half the time, but uh, if you win, you get an extra point. Uh, so in these arena events, it's not like a Swiss uh, tournament. You get um, you get how many points? I think it's I think it's oh, I forgot it now. Maybe it's two points for a win. No, I think you get an extra point if you berserk, and it could be that if you win a couple in a row, you double the points um, so you can potentially get four points instead of two plus an extra one for berserk so you can get up to five points for winning a match um, I didn't explain that nicely and clearly but I'll, I'll make a better effort of that later okay so I'm going to put a bishop here just to knock the queen back uh, he might he might decide he wants to sack on h6, but I've got coverage on f6. So I'll recap that. If if you win a game in an arena, you get two points. Um, if you berserk and take half the time, you can get an extra one point, so you could get three points if you win. <coughs> I think if you win two in a row, then your third match and ongoing matches, if you continue, continue your streak, are worth double the points so two would become four the extra point you get from berserking is not double so you get you can get up to two times two gets four plus one extra point gets five max um and you'll see the people here on the on the left side with a flame next to their name they're already um on a streak so bugzilla's here this morning he's having a go <coughs> i'll smash in the channel he says what's up joan Hey Smash, thanks for joining. Um, I'm just having a go on YouTube this morning because uh, I wanted to get on Twitch, but it wouldn't let me change the stream title. So, um, yeah, we'll just get on YouTube like we used to. Uh, Hercules says, hi, John. Long time no see. Please say hi to my son, Billy, who is with me now. Hi, Billy. I um, hope you uh, enjoy what you're watching. Um, so the viewers know, um, well, if you've been viewing my channel, you'll see my daughter joins me on the stream once in a while. Um, and so she's going. She does the best to distract me sometimes. Uh, it's all good fun. So, yeah, I mean, a night sack was played here probably to try to distract this pawn from h6. Um, but uh, I've, that's why I've captured with the rook and the queen, so that this is still defended. Uh, Joe Kassiazek says hello to Jen and hello to Billy. <laughs> Hi Joe. Good to see a few regulars coming, uh, spilling into the channel straight away. So yeah, I'm hoping this will be a good instructive session where um, we get to play some, some stronger players, uh, some uh, novice players, <coughs> and uh, we can see how, how it goes. So yeah, here, here I basically got nearly all the minor pieces and I'm just massing them on the king side uh, and I'll be eventually breaking through on f3 I could put a knight on f4 um, but but I'm not too concerned about what can do um, you know this rook's covering g8 <coughs> that's the only thing remotely close to a mate through rook at g8 okay So, um, yeah, the, the Crazy House World Championship uh, is currently underway. We're, we're down to the final round of eight, um, which will be a round robin. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to those matches, uh, both playing them and, and commentating some high-level matches. Uh, should be really, really interesting, crazy house. Um, so look out for that uh, in the coming weeks, possibly the coming months. I think that's not going to go away soon. There's, there's lots of good matches to come. Um, okay, should I just cash in here on F3? I'll, I'll, I'll play Knight at F4 first. So now threatening to come in on E2. <coughs> this Knight also covers G2. Uh, he's defending this square here. I'm going to start attacking now. Okay, I've got mate, knight at h3. If he takes as mate, if the king goes here, it's bishop g2, checkmate. There we go. And I'm going to go back to the tournament. So unlike a Swiss event, an arena just grabs the next person available that's of an equal number of points, let's say, or a similar strength. Um, so you get to play a lot more matches, a lot quicker. Uh, you don't have to wait for a round to finish. Uh, if you win matches quickly, you have the potential to gather points more quickly. Um, so it, it's it's quite different. So I'm up against uh, Enrico Palazzo this time. This is a 1400 player. Um, he's playing an early knight f6. I'm going to sack on f7, be very aggressive on this line, get my queen out. So queen f3. Okay, bishop d5, and I think I'll get knight with g5 first, and then trade the queens, and I'll have a queen to put on f7. And then I'll be able to grab this knight here. And next I'll be looking to grab a rook that side, so it's all, it's all very aggressive. Uh, I'll, I'll take a break here, I'll, I'll look to threaten something else. Then I can I can play knight f7, uh, not long from here, but yeah, it's 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 pretty tough for, for black to play against this. I, I suggest that black didn't play knight f6 when he did. Um, it just makes makes life all that much harder. So now queen e6 is, is a threat. It's made in one. If he defends that, I can also pick up the rook. Um, so the only thing I should be concerned about here is a move like bishop at g4, which defends here and threatens mate with queen at e2 or queen at d1. So bishop at g4, I'll be covering against that mate threat. And then <coughs> I'll be looking to resume taking pieces. Bishop or we'll put the pawn on. Bishop d7, I expect. Could have also played knight c3, that covers things up. Uh, Eldrail says, I really enjoy your streams and videos. Great commentary, which makes me think I could play Crazy House, at least until I get destroyed. Thanks for the comment, Eldrail. Get into the game. Um, I certainly encourage you to play. Um, that's what it's all about. That's what the channel's all about. Get new players in. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at getting close to mate here. Um, Bishop b8 helps black survive longer because the black king can then run out to d7. Um, I still have to cover off the mate threat, queen at e2. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see mate straight away. I'll, I'll just play bishop at three. So I've got a lot of extra pieces here. This should be this should be a straightforward win for white. Um, okay. Um, Hercules is saying, "Don't get discouraged if you get destroyed." Um, oh, I was speaking of my daughter. I think I can hear her. She might be coming along here. Alright, 
Um, now I'm just sealing off the king from being able to come to any of these squares. And then we'll, we'll clean up on the back rank. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll be back shortly. My daughter's just waking up. I'll have to attend to that. Alright, hey guys, sorry about that, I'm back. And we've got Finding Nemo in the background again. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to play the game, just, just get into it. Just play. Don't be too concerned about results. Um, myself, uh, that's that's just how I learned to play. Take on... Um, any player and um, high or low and play lots and you'll lose plenty of games, you'll learn a lot um, but I think that's the best way to learn okay so we've had a, a French set up here now you can take this, there's a line that pursues with bishop g4 um, I'm opting to go for a different path 
um, which just holds on to g4 here and doesn't allow bishop g4 immediately. Okay, what do I want to do with this? That's right, Bella. They're at Sydney. Okay, so you know I've got I've got an outpost here, but uh, it's, it's nothing critical just yet. Um, I think knight at f5 is a good move here. I'm not going to try to harass this bishop. Okay. So this prevents rook e8 because then I can take it and play rook at h8 mate. Uh, I'm also going to back up this bishop with bishop g5 and just play on the, the dark squares. He's played into this uh, this trick. Uh, Smash says, how many times has Bella seen Funny Nemo? I don't know. I've lost count long ago. It's Funny Nemo. It's Finding Dory, there's Cars, there's Cars 2. Yeah, there's been a lot of those four movies on in the last year. Mm. I, I, I nearly know all of the lines of the characters. Um, so my, my manager, who also has a daughter, said that uh, for him it's B-movie, apparently. He knows... He knows all the lines there. Um, Sweat Life Boy says it's great to see you play longer time control. Yeah, it's, it's good to, to play a longer time control and commentate the game a little bit more if possible. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to get some activity in after not having played all week. Just trying to stay in shape for the Crazy House World Championship. Okay, so d4, d5, both players solid here. Uh, my opponent has also decided to berserk. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll take this, and then I might trade off queens early and pursue an attack. So the difference here between white and black is I've got a, an opening on h3. All right, let, let's think carefully here. And I'm also defending f6 with this bishop. Um, he's trying to prepare for the queen trade to get knight at h6 in. I've got to see who comes up trumps. It is Gerald, though. I don't have enough to mate him if I play bishop g2. So I, I can't go for that. I'll be a bit more sensible. And um, I'm going to defend against this mate threat by, by putting a queen on h6 myself. So I want to try to get in on g2 myself. Uh, he's attacking me, I'm attacking him. Yeah, if he recaptures f5, I'll take it, and then um, I'll be. I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm a little bit safer than his king. Um, we'll see who comes out on top from this. Yes, Bella. That's right, Bella. Um, this bishop's going to be useful for me to deliver mate. I need a bishop on h3 to cut off the king from going to f1. Um, so this is this is critical him him giving me that bishop. Okay, we move on. So um, I've got uh, sixteen points. So I've, I've hit the uh, top ten leaderboard. Do you need a tissue, Bella? Here, here, Bella, come here, Bella.
Okay. So Bugzilla's playing a CIW at the moment. Oh no, he's already he's just finished his match there. Um, unfortunately, Bugzilla is out of the Crazy House World Championship. He uh, played a, a very good, a very good series against All You Need Is Luft. Um, if you'd like to check it out, you can you can see it on my channel. Um, that was an absolutely thrilling match. Uh, a very good match between two strong spirits players. Um, Would have been one of the best quality matches of the event so far, in my opinion. Okay. Let's see if I've got it. Something to size. If he takes now, yeah, I've got mate. Um. Two knights in the center just providing opportunity. With his pawn on g4, it blocked off this critical square e6, and then it's allowed this mating attack to go through. Okay, so you see here's where I'm talking about the point system. Uh, you can score 3, 3, 5, 5, 5. So it's because I'm, I'm now on a streak that um, each match is worth a few more points. Uh, Svedlife's boy says, Bugzilla is a Sydney OM. That's correct. He's a good friend of mine, Bugzilla. Yes, Bella. Hey? Yeah, there's fishes in the water there. Alright, we've got uh, 29 minutes left. Um... Yeah, I mean, I can see in the, the channel, um, Eld Rail is, is talking about, you know, how much to invest in theory and how do you somehow train for it. I mean, you just play the game. Um, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of theory on it. Um, it's more about your ability to, to adapt. So get yourself into unfamiliar positions. Um, It's, it's nearly like you're, you're, you're best off training for the game by just playing the game plenty. Okay, e4, e5. I'm up against Piotr here, 2164. So this is good. Um, getting a good variety of, of different strengths of players. Some down 1400, some 1900, some 2100. Yes, Bella. Hey. Yeah, that's under the sink. That's uh, that's the pipes under the under the seat. Okay, so there's a sack here on f7. Uh, I played bishop d4. I mean, I, maybe rook e8 is a better way to defend this pawn. It's okay. But I think there's better alternatives. Uh, c3 played. It is, Bella. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind white here. Um, I think I'd, I'd normally prefer to play rook e8, and I've played the bishop at d4 instead. It's just slightly different. Uh, white's quite active here. So I've, I've got quite a bit to defend against now. Okay. I need I need to kick this knight away or place some pieces to defend. Um, yes, Bella. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll wash it off later. Okay. You're still tired. Do you want to sleep? 
All right, I've got a call that, that white's, white's better out of the opening here than black. Um, I'm, I'm displaced with the king. White's got a safe king. Hasn't sacrificed anything for it. Um, white's got the aggressive options. And I'm, I'm now down on time because I've been berserking, so I really have my work cut out for me. Okay, I'm going to have to try to defend. I'm putting a bishop on, so if he takes my knight, I've got a bishop covering the light squares. Um, but but I don't like my position here. Um, I'm I'm just hanging in there. So just trying to hold all these bits together at the moment. Take with the knight. This is starting to look pretty ugly. Okay, let's try to knock the queen off. My time's getting a bit more critical now. Ah, this is bad. I'm losing this bishop here. Alright, I've, I've got to move a bit faster here. Oh, Bishop at E6 is made. He's, that's that's pretty poor. Um, so great game from Piotr. He's just absolutely destroyed me uh, from the opening there. Um, I think I think I normally like to play Rook E8, but Bishop at D4, and and you know he got some some really good initiative there. Um, he he hasn't lost a match at all today. So he's, he's been having a good day. So so well done to Piotr. So, so on that note, I think the game is still very open to, to new players coming along uh, and new talent rising to the top. Um, I've said this for quite a while. Uh, I think, you know, just, just pick up the game. It's still a very young discipline. There's a lot that's undiscovered. Um, so you, you've seen there players just absolutely rip me to shreds, um, taking advantage of a few small things and played very well. Uh, so, you know, anyone can come along and, and post some good results in this game. It's it's still very young. Um, I, I definitely encourage people to take it up. Um, that's, that's what this channel is all about. Right, not at f6 is is playable. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the queen here. Yes, Bella. Yeah, it looks like it's a her, but it's not. It's from your nose. My daughter's had a bleeding nose. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to avoid knight f3. Uh, get queen g4 in. And then queen of g7 to finish. Oh, 
All right, so I need to try to get uh, a streak back. Okay, we've got uh, CAC per 1653. Knight f3, d5. Alright, he's gone straight for f7. So, this this is sometimes seen in bug house where people try to sacrifice early. I don't recommend it as much in. Uh, in crazy house because you won't have a knight to, to place an attack with immediately um, against knight d2 I'm gonna hit this pawn here so as black I, I need to try to develop um, I'm gonna cover both e5 and g5 before this knight gets active Okay, so I like this square at the moment, that's hard for black to defend, he doesn't have anything in hand to block with, um, this rook's not ready to come here, so so very hard for, for black to defend against this, and I've got another knight in hand as well. Meanwhile, white's not achieved anything with this sacrifice, uh, this knight g5 threat's just not there. So, so some of these F7 sacks, they're, they're just not not that critical. Um, I mean, I got destroyed by Piotr in the game before, but um, yeah, maybe I could have played the opening a little better as well. Okay, so you might get Knight at G5 in now. Um, but I can just sidestep this. Because if knight e6, queen at d1 is mate. So I wouldn't want to play king of eight because then he gets that pawn with check. But in this case, it's going to be mate. Okay. Back to the tournament. So I'll have my streak back now. So now I'm 27. All oh, right, there's there's some talk in the channel about yeah. yeah. Hang on. Sir. Oh okay. Yeah, there's some talk in the channel about Piotr and some are considering that maybe he's not a genuine player. Um, yeah, look, I'm I'm not going to. Accusing, I, I can't, I can't tell immediately off one game, so I'm not going to accuse anyone. I don't think that's professional to do in a public space. Yes, Bell. Okay. I mean, the thing is, if if someone is is using an engine to assist them, then you know, time will time will tell, and um, they'll be found out. So. Um, but now I feel like I got destroyed, and um, that's that's good enough for me. Um, okay. How should we play this one? I'm normally playing this one as, as black, so um, I'll play b5. So CIW has also been playing a good tournament here, he's on 52. Um,
Now, I'm going to grab this. Knight at f4 is the one I'm preventing. And potentially making something on the dark squares. This is, this is a balanced position here. Um, CRW is playing the opening just fine. So I'm, I'm going to try to play a practical game from here on in. I think black's probably slightly better. I don't think white's getting enough for this peace sacrifice. But there's just some, some tactics to navigate through here. So, hmm, not at f4. CIW is playing very accurately here. I'll take this. I'm expecting knight at e2 to come in. And then I'll have to recapture this. And black is short of one pawn from mating me. So he could take g6, that's fine. So yeah, black's, black's better here, objectively. I could take f4 first, maybe. I think I will. I just want to take the piece that's attacking g2 first. But I'm, I'm down on time, I'm, I'm down on the position. I mean, whatever sacrifice I played here hasn't really made the black king any less safe than white's king. So I think CIW has played very uh, accurately and aggressively. Getting a knight on f4, a knight on e2. Okay, knight h3 played. That's pawn at g2. I'm, I'm going to defend f2. Okay, so from here, I, I'm just playing slightly worse, and I've, I've just got to. Fight and wrestle, um, and, and move quicker as well. So this move is, I need to put another defender on F2. Ah, but if he gets another pawn in hand, this is, this is all looking bad already. Knight F2 is... Already very convincing. I think Bishop at g2 is a better move to defend with. Um, I was concerned about Queen g3, but um, he's let me off the hook there. I, I think Knight f2 here is winning before because I can't take it with f2. He's got pawn at g2, King g1, Rook at h1, mate. So Knight f2, King moves. To... Oh, okay, Bella. Um, yeah, he was just winning the Queen. If I take his Queen, I think I'm going to get mated. So. Already feel I think I feel that Black's missed an opportunity here. Um, not to say that Black's worse. Black's Black's still better in this position. Um, there was just a decisive way to to seal the match off. So I'll keep fighting from here. Queen f3 coming in. Very hard for me to make any initiative out of this. Okay, now if I take the so knight, oh, my defense has fallen on g2, so I've got to go this way. Um, yeah, let's let's try to put in a counter punch here. 
I don't think it really does anything. I'm looking at another loss here. Um, unless I don't think I think he should have just taken that. Uh, he, he might be giving me an opportunity. So if he takes, I'm going to play bishop e5 and try to get pawn g7 in. Um, I think he should have just played rook f6 and taken his. He's taken it now. That's probably sensible. Um, I've got to hit this queen. I think I think knight g1 is taking care of business here. He's going this way. Uh, why is he giving me his queen though? That's a little bit helpful. Okay, we'll try to move quickly now. So rook at h7 threatened. Uh, take this one. I'm running short on time here. I really can't be thinking this long on things. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to get made it here. He's allowed too much. Um, he, he should have just just sealed off uh, checkmate much earlier. Um, oh, unfortunately, my mouse, my pre move didn't register, so I, I lost the game anyway. But uh, yeah, rook at h7, queen at e7 should be should be mating. Something happened there; it lagged out on me. Oh well, can't win them all. <laughs> uh, people people seem uh, upset that uh, I lost the game on lag. Uh, it's just part of the game. It's part of living in Australia. Um, I don't know if it's the mouse that failed or, or the connection, but it just happened. It's part of the game. Cool, Master Tant. So this is a tough match. I'm going to berserk him anyway. He's going to berserk too. This is as high level as it gets. Okay, knight d5. How do I want to play against this one? Um, there's a few lines here, aren't there? I'll play h6. I, I'm okay with losing the last game. I mean, CIW had it in the bag long ago. Uh, he deserved to win that game. It was well up on time and well up on the position. So I've played bishop b6 here just to avoid d4. There's there's some theoretical lines, I think, with bishop g4, h3. You know, master 10 will, will know something here. Um, this might be a new move for him, which is why he's had to pause. Um, I think White should just take it and mount some pressure around this diagonal, proceed slowly. Um, he hasn't gone that way. So, Bishop b5. Knight at e7 is coming. Mm. How to play against this? Okay, let's go 97. I'm I'm looking out for how things can open up here. Um, you can bring the bishop back to c4. That could be a little bit annoying. I'll have to come out to g4. And... Yeah, he's knocking me around here. It's not comfortable. Bishop c4, queen g4, bishop h6 takes knight f6, king h6 takes the queen, recapture. 
And then pawn f6, cover against that. Knight at e8. Oh, you'll have knight g5. Yeah, okay, knight h4. He's played something else. I, I need to put some pieces on here, I think. Mm, I'm opening a can of worms by doing that. Maybe c6 is just more sensible. All right, we've both only got a minute left. Let's let's start bringing the pace up a bit here. I'm expecting him to hit my queen with bishop at f5, and then I'm going to let him capture it. I'm going to grab two pieces, and then he'll do some kind of bishop h6, and the attack will get rolling. Alright, let's play crazy else, guys. Um, not all that thrilled with my level of play so far this morning, but let's try to pick it up. Pawn at g6 was a bit annoying. Should I take on c4 maybe? Alright. I don't know if I should have stuck to defense here. Maybe bishop h6 is dangerous, but I'm, I'm going to bank on the defense of this bishop and get pawn e2 in. I think you'll want to play queen g4 and maybe. Uh, bishop at e2, so I'll probably have to defend on g6. Alright, he's... I'll bring this back then. I don't mind he's consumed a pawn that he can't attack with. Every pawn counts in this position. Okay, I've got to try to defend. Oh, this isn't helping me. I think EF was stronger, but uh, I might just hang on long enough here. He's going to run out of time. So, yeah, I mean, but I'm, I'm still hanging in there, even if not for, for the clock. Um, there's, there's still a game to be played here. Um, he's not giving up, but he will run out of time. Okay, that was a, the highest rated match so far. Oh, lots of, uh, lots of chat here. I haven't been keeping up. Um... What's going on? Danny Walker, he's here. How you going, Danny? He says, John, do you like to swim? Uh, don't mind. Not a huge swimmer. Um, good on a hot day. I used to try to swim a bit more, but uh, not as much these days. Um, I may not get another match here. Cause... Oh, no, we've got one more. All right, we get to, uh, get to play CIW again. Okay, let's see if uh, I can find an improvement. He, uh, he played a very good game against me just then. So we'll head down a similar line. I'm going to deviate. This is quite theoretical. Um, we get b4 in. I'm playing knight at e3. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy playing this as white and black. But um, I feel like uh, he knows what he's doing with black here. Um, I feel a little bit like I'm playing against myself, actually. I think uh, he seems to know this line pretty well. Um, it was nice how he rerouted his knight to g6 and then played the attack uh, very nicely this game. So, let's see uh, how we go in this...
Alright, so I've got a ton of bishops, so I'm going to try to focus on this. There's a few light square weaknesses. Um, it's just a slightly different way of moving forward. Now I could take this and win a queen. That's one way of going forward. I'm going to put some more pieces on first. So uh, at this point, maybe I should cash in. There's a knight that can come on f4 as well, which is annoying. I wonder if that should be prevented. Let's uh, let's get let's get this on first. Okay, even here I feel like maybe holding on to the bishop instead of the rook was more beneficial. Like it'd be better if he had the rook here and I had a bishop in hand. Um, now I've got to figure out how I'm going to make an attack move. So I want to play knight e5 to get another pawn for here. But the problem is if I do it immediately he's going to defend g6. I want to push his knight off. He can still come back here though. Um, He's, he's just doing fine. Um, so let's let's consolidate g6. There's also an f6 threat. Um, this game is far from over. Um, now I'm in a position here with white where if I allow black to put these pieces on, black's just going to stand better. Um, after this, black is holding all the minor pieces. So if I don't try to attack quickly with the minor, with the small force that I have and just the queen in hand, I'm going to be ending up worse for sure. Um, so I, I have to just push. So now I've got a couple minor pieces back for the pawns, so at least the material's a little bit more balanced. And, and he doesn't have much on the board, so I just need to keep taking things off, keep, keep attacking, um, or else I'm definitely worse. So here we could be getting a little bit more decisive now because now knight at e7 is, is quite dangerous. Um, King h8, bishop g7, knight f5, queen at g7 is, is a key threat. This is the right place to go to, stepping away from bishop at g7. Uh, but now there's a threat on g6. So you know, he's got all these pieces in hand, but I've been able to maintain initiative and keep up a supply of pieces. So my attack is going to be successful here. Um, so, okay, is there some fancy mate? Is... I don't see it yet. I'll just, I'll just bring another piece into the action. And I'm also very safe here because I've got coverage of the, the key entry points. Um, so the, the point of this move is after knight f8, king here, queen at h7 is backed up by another queen to tap, take on f7. So this actually is a double discovery. The bishop and, and the queen. So the event's over. Um, I mean, yeah, I only joined kind of nearly halfway through the event. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just keen to get a bit of play, a bit of commentary on. So we'll see where we go from, from here. Um, Okay, so I'm going to play the mate that I spoke about. Double check, and um, F7 is covered. Okay, um, that's the tournament. I only placed in uh, fourth here. Um, we had uh, Piotr coming up top. Didn't drop a match. Um, oh, listen to that piano go off. Okay, let's see what's going on on the server. Let's see if we can find another match. Who's hanging around? Master Tan's here. Pugzilla's here. Let's let's see if Master Tan wants to play. Um, we normally play 1-0, but let's uh, try uh, some 3-0 matches. It's probably some good training for Chrissy House World Championship. Uh, 
Okay, he's in. Alright, Master Tan. Play some three minute matches. So Master Tan is part of the final eight in the round robin of the Crazy House World Championship. So at some stage we will also play his matches. This is not a Crazy House World Championship match. This is just uh, friendly. Um, okay, he's gone for the Bishop B5. So let's see. This is slightly annoying. I'm bringing the bishop back, so if d4, I can take take and play pawn at g4, and then I'm harassing white. Um, so I'm bringing the bishop back so that the pawn cannot attack the bishop. This is already a new position for the two of us, so it'll be interesting to see what we get out of this. My plan here is to castle and play d6 and bring the bishop out. Maybe this knight lives on g6, f4. Um, but yeah, I just can't let the uh, floodgates open too quickly. Now, sometimes with the knight placed here, knight g5 and, and queen h5 is, is quite powerful. Um, so that's that's an idea that he might be considering. Okay, I'm going to proceed as I mentioned. Let's just develop this bishop next. Okay, now queen h5 is, is becoming a threat. So, what's the play? I think I actually have to play h6, and it looks ugly. He's going to grab f7, but this knight at least covers g6. Um, if he wants to take the rook for two pieces, then I'll just have to fight after that. Okay. Making this look dangerous. Pawn h7 is also annoying here. Um, I'm defending both g6 and f7. If pawn h7, I think I'm going to have to sidestep it. Uh, now he might play pawn f7. Okay. Take it, but I think I'm worse off. This this just looks awful, but I'm going to play king f8. So the knights are covering the back rank. I'm I'm going to get tested on my defence here. Okay, he's now threatening to take this. He's also threatening h8 queen, bishop on, bishop h6. It's getting ugly for me. Uh, maybe the bishop has to go to f4. Alright, my defense is getting tested. Um, now recapture bishop at f6. So I need to cut off this rook just so my knight's still covering this. It's not just about covering the double attack on the knight. I have to cover this h8 square. Pawn g6. Maybe I can run back here, but then he'll grab this one and grab h6. Like it's it's not looking good. I think the attack might be too much. He's going this way. I have to start getting creative with defense. And I get to bring another knight into the, the king side. He's playing against h6, I feel. Really? g6? Is that what? No, he'll play rook f6 and then queen, make a queen. So he gets a bishop. I have to block with the rook. Rook f6 is pretty damn ugly if I move this knight. Uh, can I come up with something else?
I'm feeling like I'm running out of defensive resources here. Um, all right, we'll, we'll go this way. I think he's just played it too well. Um, Point of five is, is a good way forward here. Yeah, that's it. I'm resigning there. Too strong. He was very resourceful with uh, using the, the F file. I couldn't hold him off. Okay, so he's up 1-0. Um, he started at 15-15 uh, versus 15-15 uh, versus 781. Some people like to keep score, so I'm just going to publish that. Okay. So they've both got this awkward looking queen blocking the bishop. D5 is now one defender down, so I can try to hit with pawn at G5. And now he's going to bring in a knight D4 potentially. Good morning. Um, no, she hasn't had breakfast yet. All right, let's have some fun. This knight on d4 is a very dangerous piece. So is there any anything I can make out of this here? So pawn at c2 is kind of queen at c2, queen c1 is already pretty threatening. I may have to defend against that first. So let's let's cover it with knight at e3. And then I want to try to start attacking with knight d5. Uh, yeah, not not thrilled with what I've got out of the opening so far, but it's got there's there's tricks from both sides. He's covering up on d5. Bella, can you listen to mum, please? Okay, how to proceed from here. So I can sack here and play pawn e7. But it's it's not really mounting to a sharp attack fast. Okay, um, I'm actually going to go queen at e5. The idea is to hit here, hit here, also play knight d5.
Yeah, very sharp here. Pawn at c2 now. Rook d1, does that go anywhere? I'm threatening knight f6, I'm defending my queen with, with check. Uh, I've got a mate threat here already. Knight of g7 takes, queen takes, takes, queen e7. So he's got to defend or attack very accurately here. Um, likewise, I have to watch my king. So this is this is fire on both sides. I think he's found the right move. Now if I take, this is going to end badly for me. I think I've, I've got to defend. Defending against the threat on d1. Yes, but it's also still keeping threats low. But I feel like... I feel like black's got the better position here. All right, this is a bit desperate now. Um, I think he's got enough. He might even just be able to put the queen on, and that's enough to win. He's played a really solid game. That that's enough. Queen d1 takes queen at c2. That that's all over. I think. No, I think um, my decision to play pawn at e5 maybe wasn't right. Knight at d4 was stronger than my attack. So um, Master 10, two games to the good here. He's playing very well. Um... Now against Master 10, I think if, if you're playing too familiar openings, you're going to find trouble. And um, feels like he's, he's comfortable at the moment. So Bishop G4. So that's going to be captured. Bring the bishop back to b6. I just prefer having this pawn still here to defend. So balance position here still. This is one of my pet lines. It's a bit more passive, but... Um, just a slower way forward. Yes, Bell. What do you mean the book that's the same? Oh, okay. All right. Um, Master turns opted to sack here and, and make something happen to light squares. Um, Maybe h3 is right. h3, maybe off to counter with d5. Yes, Bell, there's one egg. So this bishop's attacking this. He's trying to distract my defender, so I need to counter um, very sharply by, by hitting here. Um, at some stage with this weakness here, I'm also looking at playing bishop f2 at the right time. Um, and then that'll make this knight look silly. So I think that time is now. I'm going to grab this. And 
and this is this is crazy house this is how it's meant to be played so we've got lots going on i'll grab this bishop now if you look at the material it, it's absolutely balanced it's just that we've all got we've messed up each other's king side enough um, but material is exactly balanced here I'm trying to claim that his knight's a little bit displaced here, and it's just that small difference that's giving me a slight edge. Um, I'm okay with, with him here. We both have the same scenario in that um, we're attacking only one color, um, the opponent's squares. So he, here's where we need to get sharp. There's something hanging here. This knight was attacking g4, which was going to be helpful. I need to decide if I want to defend against bishop f6. I, th I think it's worthwhile, but oh, maybe. Yes, Bella. That's right, Bella. No, I've got to be aggressive here. I need to counter aggressive. He can play knight at h5, but I'm going to keep going that way. Okay, he's defended now. So I need to be able to hit the right material, or otherwise defend against knight at h5. Okay, let's let's get rook d8 in first. I'm running low on time here. I need to I need to find find the plan quickly. Hang on, Bell. All right, I think it's this. I need to play a fork here because he can just block pawn at c4 if I play bishop a6. I got to make a knight available to me so I can attack. If he comes here, then I play bishop at a6 and then I pick up a rook. So. I'm not going to get many tempo to, to start something before he gets an attack rolling himself. So we're under pressure on the clock. I'm not uh, under a direct mate threat yet, so I need to make look at G1 a dangerous threat here. I think regardless of what he plays, rook at g1 is my next move, and, and there's some mate threats he has to be careful of. And this way first. Yeah, we see mate. So we have just enough. So yeah, I like the bishop at b5. Bishop at b5 is actually critical because I needed to get a knight or rook in hand. To be able to penetrate his his king side, um, he got my queen on f6, but I got in first because uh, I had just enough defense. So sharp game all happened in the the time scramble. Happy with that win. Um, yeah, not not an easy one, but uh, I'll take it. Um, haven't been playing the best best this morning, but I'm happy with that one. Bishop at b5 is. Um, just one of those moves it's uh, not not so easy to see um, it's it's right up there i think um, among separating some of some of the top players Okay, it's nearly 9 a.m. here, guys. I'm, I'm probably going to close this off um, soon, sooner rather than later. So I'll only play a few more matches. Um, we've played three so far, so I'll, I'll play another three. So I'm going to call last three games with Master 10. And then I'll have to help out with family. Okay, so I'm making some ground here. Um, 
Pawn G7 looks attractive. But I need to execute. Uh, right now, Knight G G4 undermines my attack. I'm just going to play a quiet move here. I'm just say I'm, I'm this bishop's here to stay. I'm saying I don't really have enough yet to to blow black up. But I'm just going to make it a little little harder. Okay, so pawn at b4, making a grab on here. The things can open up pretty quickly when this knight gets to e4. I'm seeing if, seeing what that means. I think knight d5 is natural. I'm just going to play that without calculating too far. I expected him to take e4, but I th maybe he was concerned about something on h4. So here I can't play rook g1 anymore because of pawn at h2. So let's get creative. I'm actually going to defend him with king f1. Um, and it's only because I've set this up with h3, he can't put a pawn there. Now, so that's a decent move. So he wants to be able to play pawn at f3. He's finding a way to make progress here. I don't have any weaknesses to hit quickly. Alright, let's um let's try to be creative. Pawn at c7. I'm gonna to try to draw this queen away from f6 so that after I take the rook, he can't just take it with the bishop and be safe. And knight at f6 check will, will be something he has to think about. It's um it's not all concrete. It's just creative. Because if I just move this knight, he'll get pawn f3 in and he's just starting to push on me too hard. So I'm, I also get the chance to move this knight and then hit his queen. Um, if I play rook h8, he can actually bring the king up. So maybe... It's not very subtle. It's just a straight up made in one threat. I'm not seeing much better here. If I'm lucky, I might be able to coordinate these two knights on f5 to make this double attack go away. If I'm bringing this knight away, I, I need to be able to counter the attack that's been driven by these knights. So I'd rather keep it this side of the board. If I bring the knight here, he's going to play bishop at a6, and then that knight's just a dead knight. So um, this is just making use of the mate threat. See if I can make something more. Wow, okay. He's allowing Rook at G8. He's going to come here. Alright. I've got to go for it. Let's see where this goes. I've got 15 seconds left. He's got 20. It's going to be a race. I'm threatening Knight G8. I'm threatening Rook E8. Uh, he might try to come up with some threats of his own. I'm not seeing a mate yet. Oh gosh. That hurts, that move. That really takes the wind out of my sails. Okay, bishop at f8 is now something. Uh, too slow. Uh, I don't see something critical yet. Oh, it's Queen at E2 is a mate. Yeah, you've seen it. Oh, um, Queen F3 just allowed uh, Knight at D2, and I, I didn't see better. 
I think Queen F3 is a mistake there, but it all came down to the time scramble. So nice play from Master Ten. Okay, let's let's play e4 e6. We'll try a different opening. I play I'll play two more matches and I'll close off this stream. Okay. He's gonna play a3. How do I want to play against this? I'll play. I'll play a knight. Do you want to rest, Bell? Do you want to lie down? Okay, I'm gonna try to alleviate. I'm gonna alleviate the pin. I'm thinking of getting the knight in, making progress. Where's Where's your iPad, Bell? Can you bring your iPad, please? Can you go and get it? All right, I'm um, I'm gonna catch her on c3, so that this is now something for me to hit. He's he's picking his own weakness here on on c6. I like his position better than mine. Hmm. Hang on, pal. Yeah, this is... if I castle here, then knight at c6 isn't great. It's not looking great anyway. I, I just don't like my position here. I'm just frozen up. Um, takes, takes, knight at c6 is already looking good for white. Yes, Bella. Yeah, that's right, Bella. Knight at c6 is fair. Castles, pawn h6. And I'm up against it. Okay, let's see how sharp this goes. Takes, takes. He'll have two pawns. Pawn here. Check, 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 take. We'll have three pawns. Pawn h6. Takes, pawn g6. No, he's got too much. I thought I had some some tactic, but it's not going to help me out. I think you should just t take you and then pawn g7, knight e7. It's gone up. Maybe. All right, I'll, I'll come up. Oh, he's he's gonna have enough pawn. Yeah, 
I felt just stuck after Queen B7. Alright, I'm gonna help you. Hang on guys, I'll be back. And then we'll play the last game. Alright guys, one last game. Master 10's uh, got the upper hand on me at the moment. He's definitely got my number. Um, uh, Smash was asking, why not King H8? Make him expend one more pawn. Um, he didn't have to expend a pawn. He could just play Bishop takes H6, and I think we get quite a similar outcome. Um, the game, the game was lost earlier strategically when he got his queen onto to B7. Knight at C6 was just too strong, and and the the pieces I had just didn't help me. Okay, so I'm, I'm quite happy having this pawn on d3. This helps, uh, this helps cover e4. I'll be back again, guys. My daughter's thing is on too loud. Alright, I'm gonna just not think too much and actually just rashly sacrifice a queen here. Um, I'm looking at this pawn here, building some pressure. Um, I'm removing two pieces on his king side. Theoretically, this should be better for black already, but um, I'm gonna play for practical chances here. So that's a wise move, just eliminating the double bishops by by walking with check. Um, and now he's going to develop this piece. And so, yeah, I, I need to be cautious how I proceed here. Oh, I've left this pawn hanging, that's not ideal. I want to be able to grab this one. And, and maybe this is just a bit too reckless for me. I'm not achieving what I want to out of this position. Oh, he's sacking. Mm, I don't know if he had to sack here. That gives me a little bit of latitude. Uh, I'm trying to make something happen on the light squares here. There's also knight c6. So material-wise, I'm, I'm down some material, but he's, he's got a few rooks on the back rank that, that aren't in hand. Um, let's just defend that. That's just covering c6. That's a good move. It also means I have one less pawn to attack with here. Yeah, I'll... he's got rook at d1 planned for me, I think. That's okay, I've got knight at e1. Now with knight e5, oh, knight e2. What's he doing? Okay. This is interesting.
Let's be sensible here. So he's trying to get a knight to put on e4. If I, if I let that go too far, I'm, I'm going to be too far set back on the position. I'm just trying to hold him at bay for now. But my pieces aren't that well coordinated to attack. I'll have to get pawn at g4, pawn at h5, something like that next. I have to do this to prevent him from capturing this important defender. Um, let's go this way. He's attacking me. I'm trying to attack him. Looks like he's coming through first, though. Oh, he's, he's attacking better than I am. Alright, this is sharp. Queen at f1 doesn't work because of rook at, rook at g1. Um, I've got to try to make some threats on his king. Uh, I've got to need a blocker for queen at f1. He's got to defend or else he's going to be mated. Where's the mate? There should be a mate here. Why am I not seeing it? Alright, we'll go this way. Oh dear, that's horrible. No, I needed that pawn on g6. Uh, maybe that was a minute. Um, well, that was a sharp game to finish with, but... Uh, where's the mate here? Maybe I don't have one. So it's probably got to be h8 in here. Look up, takes... 95. Maybe I don't have mate here. It, it just looks like a draw. I can't displace the pieces I want to. I can't sack this rook on g7, play rook h7. Because king g8, knight h6 would be mate, but then he can run up to g6. So, anyway, um, I've got to leave it there. And, um, yeah, I'll... I'll uh, leave you all to your weekend. I've got to go and, go and be a dad. Thanks for joining me uh, for this morning's stream. Uh, yeah, sorry, the form's a bit below par, but work's just been flat out this week, so I've not been able to play much. Um, not surprised. I've had a few shaky games today. All right. Take care. Uh, might catch you later this weekend. See you.